Jeremy Brooks. I'm here demoing machines for DR Power Equipment here at the GIE Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, DR, if you're not familiar with it, it stands for Done Right. We do power equipment for homeowners, property owners, family farms, hobby farms, and machinery that also trickles into the commercial line. So if you've got if you've got clients you need to take care of their property, our machines will handle that too. Everything from trimmer mowers to brush mowers, wood chippers, wood splitters. Uh, we have a wide array of machines and also hand tools and getting into electric and battery. Um, so today, going to show you some of our products that we have here to demonstrate at the GIE show. Uh, we're, we're a hit here because we're unique. Uh, we are from Vermont um, and that's where I grew up and, and so DR is a Vermont born and raised company so we know what the small communities are like, we know what small town folks are like and we love working with them. So um, we're going to show you some of the machines that we've invented in Vermont and, and, and spread out into the country. Um, what I'd like to start with is our DR trimmer mower. This is what made us who we are. Um, 33 years ago we started the DR company and the trimmer mower is what started it all and this is the most recent version of it. That it's called the TR4, fourth generation of trimmer mower. Very simple to use, no more, no more carrying a handheld string trimmer. This is on wheels, more rugged, more durable and also a wider swap. So if you've got fence lines on your family farm or your hobby farm, uh, if you've got some, some overgrown areas you need to clear, this is a great machine. It's not as heavy as a brush mower, it's not as cumbersome as, as a rough cut mower, and this is the machine that's going to help you clear your land. 14-inch um, wheels on the baseline model, heavyweight line. This is our design for the head. This is patented with different line heights here, so you can cut at different heights depending on how you like it. Uh, real easy to change the line in and out, uh, and much tougher than your standard walker uh, handheld trimmer cord. Um, and it starts like a push mower, so real simple to start, no fussing with a two-stroke handheld string trimmer. So let's fire this up, I'll show you how it works. Real simple, throttle, full start. Squeeze your handle, so anyone can use this. Squeeze your handle, engages the head, We've got a 23 inch cut, real lightweight, so back and forth, it's simple even in hilly conditions. You can see it leaves a nice finished cut, and this will work on anything from tall grass and weeds to burdocks and thistles, even lightweight saplings, anything that you've got growing on your fence lines or along the edge of your property that you're looking to clear. Great for clearing trails. If you have a nice meadow or something you want to keep intact, but you want to be able to walk through it, real nice for clearing trails. So the DR trimmer mower, that's, this is a hit every year, up to 30 years. Again, lightweight, easy to use, anyone can use it. If you've got a kid at home that's ready to use power equipment, this is a nice piece to start them on. It's a lot safer than a handheld string trimmer as well. So this is, our, this is one of our bread and butter pieces and we're proud of it. So we'll move on to our brush mowers. Here, we'll come around here. DR, also famous for brush mowers. These are versatile. They're able to be handled by your average person. Not It's not just for, for some big jack guy who's out there working the fields. This is for anybody. Some of the features that make it usable for anybody. These are lighter than you think and much more maneuverable than you'd think because of a brake system that we have on these. They're not hydrostatic, so there's not a lot of complicated parts that if they break down, you can't fix. These are, these are simple brakes on the wheels that help you steer. And this is a 26 inch cutting deck. We also have 30 inch and 34 inch, depending on the size you get. They're affordable. They start at $2,000. Well, they actually start at $1,500 for a smaller model than this. But these, these pro models um, start at 2,000. And if you pan over there, they'll, they take different attachments. So there's a lawnmower attachment, a chipper attachment, there's a snow thrower attachment, and there's a snow plow attachment. So they're not just limited to brush mowing. So for the hobby farmer, you get multiple uses out of one machine. That's huge. Your money goes a lot further that way. So we're going to fire this up, we'll, and I'm going to run it on its course. Just so you can see how the steering works. You don't have to muscle this. This is why it's good for everybody. You don't have to muscle this to turn it. All you got to do is squeeze a handle. So we're going to get this started. Easy to start, a little bit loud. Off we go. Different speeds, so for cutting you might want different speeds. 
keep out in reverse. of attachments, ease of use. I'm six foot, so these handlebars fit me fine, but if you're five five, we can lower the handlebars for these. So, so you have versatility here, not just for a bigger guy, but for anybody that can use this machine. So did you say, is this a is this one a commercial grade versus a more residential grade? Uh... They're all the same. So on okay. these machines, we, ha we sell to homeowners, we sell to property owners, we sell to hobby farmers, we sell to commercial users and they'll stand up to all of that work. You can cut brush anywhere from two inches thick diameter to three inches on the bigger models. So you've got a heavy duty machine that can be handled by the average person. That's what makes DR special. That's where we operate, on the homeowner and the commercial line there where there's some, you can use it either way and it's gonna work for everybody. And maintenance is simple. These are not complicated machines to maintain, which also, for your hobby farmer, for your, your homeowner, saves money. They can do the work themselves oftentimes with a little help from us. Um, so really high quality machines that, that anyone can use. So the trimmer mowers and the brush mowers are sort of how we made our start at DR, uh, and they still are our bread and butter. But we've branched out since then, and we are into a lot of different product lines that benefit not just the, the homeowner, but again, that, that, that property owner, that hobby farmer that's got more than just a yard to cut that's got more than just some fence lines to trim. You may have brush to clear, you may have brush piles to clear, and not everyone can burn in their town. So we have chippers and chipper shredders that I'm gonna show you next. Let's go. four inches we've got chipper shredders that will that will clear that stuff and turn it into what you see here so this you throw right on your trails right on your garden this will break down super fast so you're not left with big piles that take years to break down you've got mulch that comes right out of this I fire this up but it's real loud but I will tell you that these machines save the homeowner and the property owner a lot of work all that garden waste that you normally throw into a mulch pile and you have to put additives in for it to break down no more you throw it down here break it into these little chunks here and it will break down so much faster and turn it into usable garden waste instead of just a pile um, then you've got your chippers so over here wait I, i'm sorry what was the diameter of, of so wood this, that you can put in here yeah we've got anything for on the chipper shredder line we've got machines that will do three inch diameter okay. so over around this side if you want to come take a look this, this is where you put the, the sticks. This is where you will put the garden waste. So if you've got sticks up to three inches, four inches, this unit will take a four inch diameter piece. So a si that's a sizable branch. If you're burning firewood, you're never gonna do anything that big. Through here, you're gonna cut that up and burn it. So what you see here, this is kind of your ideal chipper shredder material. This kind of stuff, you got a bunch of leafy ends, right down through the, 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 the uh, shredder and all the bigger limbs down through the chipper. So multiple uses in one machine. Then we have the dedicated chippers. So take a picture of that pile. If you don't burn wood, you're gonna be left with piles of this stuff. And this, is, this takes forever to break down. So you end up either having to burn it, which you can't always get a permit for, um, or you just got piles in the, in the prop, on your property off to the side. So to clear this kind of stuff and make it usable, if you don't burn it, we've got the DR chipper. Again, I'm not gonna start this machine because it's really, it is a loud machine. You always wanna use ear protection when you're using these. This bad boy will do up to a five and a half or five and three quarter inch diameter log. So this is even small for what this can do. 
it's almost it, it, that's why we we kind of work on that commercial line because you could be a commercial user and absolutely make the most of this machine so the wood goes down the hopper it's a self feeder so you don't have to stand there and force everything down through it which helps again anybody be able to use this machine when it comes out the back side this is what you've got this is awesome this is what you cover your trails with your garden beds and and it's it, it's nice and uniform it's not big chunks little chunks it's all nice and uniform so you have really usable mulch here or or just do it like i said put it down on a playground it'll, it'll be great what kind of maintenance do you need for the blades sure so it is a single knife it gets worked hard but it's a hardened composite metal and the average homeowner is going to go a couple years on a knife uh, if you're working the machine heavily or if you're a commercial user you may switching knives out more frequently but it all there's a lot of variables what kind of wood how old is the wood um, how often are you using it but it, they are meant to last and they do a really great job the the knives you can sharpen so you get some added use out of them um, but with all of the all of the replacement knives that kind of stuff we have available for quick you know purchase in Vermont at the store but also we ship all over the country yes yeah, so you can get your replacements quickly you can also change them yourself Quickly. Again, for the homeowner that may be out there in the country, right, and you, you might have to drive an hour to get anywhere near a dealer of ours, you can replace the knife, a little panel on the back, and a panel on the front, and you can get in there and you can replace the knife yourself with just a few bolts. So it's, a, it's an easy to maintain machine. It's not just about how does it work for you. It's also about can you, can you do the work on it when the time comes. And, and we try to make machines that are not so complicated that a homeowner can't figure out how to do it. And if you can't, we, are, we pride ourselves on technical support. We have a technical phone support center that is there for you all the time, and they do a great job of troubleshooting with you. If it's a machine that's an older DR machine, we know all about them. It's, nothing is obsolete for us. And then anything new, we have support there ready for you. So you run into a problem, you don't have to drive to a shop, you don't have to load the machine up and bring it somewhere, just call us and we'll, and that's 877 DR owner and we can get you the technical support that you need. What kind of warranty is there on these products? DR warranties are products two years standard with the option to extend uh, and if you have a, a certified DR repair shop in your area, we can extend the warranties to as many as five years, which is really a nice insurance policy if you're working your machines hard, which a lot of these machines, that's exactly what they're meant to do. So if something goes wrong in year four, you can be covered. And, and we stand behind our products. We are small enough to get that feel of going to a mom and pop shop, but we're big enough to be able to get you what you need, where you need it, when you need it. And we ship all over the country and we ship all over the world. Um, we, we work with dealerships. So I run the DR factory store in Vermont, but there's only one of us. But dealerships and online direct to customer like we are we pride ourselves on our direct to customer marketing and the way that we work with folks getting them their products via freight UPS whatever it takes and, and, and we'll get you the products quickly so moving on to the product line again we've seen some machines that can really help kind of clear land um, but a lot of you especially hobby farmers you like to burn wood that's a, it's a, it's a fuel that is renewable and there's a lot of tree farms um, in Vermont we have a lot of tree farms and firewood is huge the cost of, of fuel going up firewood becomes a great option I'm going to show you one of our wood splitters now that's that really benefits the homeowner this is called the rapid fire it's a kinetic wood splitter so this wood splitter is a little different most folks especially farmers are accustomed to hydraulics uh, this is a different kind of splitting altogether. It's a kinetic splitter, so it's like swinging an ax, only with a lot of power behind it. Uh, and what you get here is a real fast split. So, whereas a hydraulic may take 15 or 17 seconds to cycle through, this takes three seconds to cycle through. So again, for that hobby farmer that you have a list of to-dos that's a mile long, this will get your work done more quickly, uh, more efficiently, and you're going to be ready for winter. You're not going to be worrying about hydraulics breaking down. Again, if you're out, you know, in the boonies, right, then, you know, going, finding a shop that's going to fix hydraulics may not be possible. So this is a much more simple design. Works on flywheels. 
belt driven, rack and pinion. So when you engage this, there's a rack and a pinion that are, that are pushed together and it fires out. I'll fire this up so you can see it work. Is there sort of a, a maximum diameter of the wood that it's most effective On with? On this model, it's 30 inches, but a diameter. So that's a big slug. Yeah. But we have several different models from a 10 ton equivalent called the K10, which is a sweetheart. You can put it on a table. It's electric. You don't have to run it outside. You can run it indoors. So we have that 10 ton, which is great for finish splitting. Then we have a K22, which is equivalent to a 22 ton hydraulic. A little smaller than this, also comes with an electric option. So if you want to run it in your garage and be warm, you can. You don't have to be burning gas. A lot of us now are very much emissions conscious, carbon footprint, want to eliminate it. The electric versions of these work just as well as the gas, and you don't have any gas, oil, no mess like that, no carburetors to deal with, just an extension cord. So I will fire this up. This is our biggest and baddest. So this is a 34 ton equivalent called the K34. We'll fire this up, show you how it splits. You'll see how fast it is. The, really what you have to worry about with these is, is do you have someone to help you stack it? Because that is <laughs> gonna happen fast. minute yeah. right so a hydraulic just as effective for splitting but a lot slower so this is a time saver yeah you got to lift the things up there but you, you you if you've got bigger ones to cut just give them you know just hit them with a with a you know a wedge split them and then lift them up and split them with this and you will save time again the electric options are great for the homeowner that does not want to deal with gas and oil we've got those available I was gonna ask that with with one of the gas powered machines besides you know, keeping it oiled, what, what kind of maintenance will somebody have to think about with yeah, something like yeah, this? Yeah, maintenance is always the biggest question because once you have the machine, you've got to take good care of it. Um, maintenance on these, because there are no hydraulics, are super simple. Regular engine maintenance, so you got air filter, spark plug, it's a splash lubricated engine, so no oil filter, um, and then your air filter. You can, you can save a little money in the long run by popping your air filter out of any of your machines and blowing it out. So if, you're, if you are economy conscious, you can save yourself some cash in the long run, take the air filter out, blow it out, you'll get an extra, some extra life out of it. Um, other maintenance on this, there are two belts right here that run the flywheels. There's two big flywheels in there, but they're belt driven, which is real simple. So eventually those belts will stretch out like all belts do, uh, and you'll have to replace them. But that is it. Maintenance on this machine, for as big as it is and intimidating as it is with speed and everything, it's not complicated. So maintenance is real simple for the homeowner. So that's wood splitters. We do offer through DR hydraulic wood splitters as well. And we do have an electric five ton that again, tabletop finish splitting, it's super cool. It's nice and easy to use for, for anyone really. Um, so we have lots of options for how you like to split. Plus, if you have a tractor, which a lot of you hobby farmers will, compact tractor, we have PTO driven hydraulic splitters. So you can you, you latch it onto your three point hitch, you plug in the hydraulic hoses, and you can be splitting with a with a horizontal vertical hydraulic splitter as well. So lots of different options for, for folks out there who are looking for a lot of different options. We've got them. The last thing I want to show you, and this is this is a gem for homeowners, for, for small farm owners and hobby farmers, this is a power wagon. So everybody's got a wheelbarrow, and everybody is probably used to 
uh, lifting that wheelbarrow with a heavy load on and having it dump when you try to turn a corner. This is the DR Power Wagon. This is our answer to the wheelbarrow that tips over when you're almost done your job. And everyone has had that happen. So this is four wheels. Four wheels, much more stable, but no less maneuverable than any other piece out there because you've got the casters on the back which can turn on a dime. So really effective. It can carry a lot of weight. We have three different options that range from 500 pound capacity to 800 pound capacity. There's a flat bed that you can get for hauling wood pellet bags or soil bags or feed bags. So again, hobby farmer, let's think of how many different uses we can get out of one machine, right? So, so this has a lot of different uses. Very simple to use. We have EXI engines on these, so Briggs & Stratton EXI engines that don't require any priming, don't require any choke. So you don't have to get down in there to do anything to that motor to get it to start. All you gotta do is make sure the machine is in neutral and this is your operator presence control. This is a safety feature. So with the machine in neutral, the throttle up, now we're going. When you put this in gear, this has to be down as a safety feature, which again, safety is everything. If I'm hauling a big load and I fall, and my hand comes off of this when this is in gear, the machine shuts off. So if, if something happens where safety is now an issue and you are removed from the machine, it will shut itself off. So that's a nice feature. So let's, let's show you how you're not gonna tip your load. This is a nice load of firewood. some of the models, not all of them. Let's take the end off. He's turning at the end. I see holes here. Is there other attachments for, for covers or something? So, in the, in the spirit of, of not producing more than we need to, this bed actually is the same bed we use for our leaf and lawn vacuums. So, it is, it, it's got holes that a rod goes through for the leaf and lawn vac system, but we've already designed the bed. It works great in this application, so we reduce how much we have to produce. They're already being made for us. So that, that translates into savings for the end user because we're not having something else completely different created for this product. Um, the last thing I'll ask you is, you mentioned there's a 500 and an 800 pound capacity. Yes. Is, is there actually a size difference or is it a structural thing that makes it stronger Good for question. a heavier? They're the same size. They're all this compact. The bed may will look a little different on the lower end model, um, but they're the same size, just engines change, the bed changes a little bit, and on the higher end, uh, you get this you get this automatic dumping feature uh, whereas on the lower end it's a manual dumping feature but it's easy to use it's hinged just right so your weight point is towards the front so when you release the hinge it will go so even though you have to manually dump it you're not doing the work yourself so I show this machine last because for those of you at home who who have a lot of work to do and really don't want to do all that lifting or use the wheelbarrow or use a garden cart where the wheels get bent and they get clunky. 
this is a great solution and all of the machines that we have at DR are great solutions for the work that you have to do at home, on your property, on your hobby farm and we're here to help. Born in Vermont, but we're all over the place and we're happy to help you here. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Thank you.